Welcome back to all you beautiful people out there. Wild coming at you, super strong like always. Now this is part two of a two part awesome video about awesome additions and upgrades you can make to your stream for under 20 bucks. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'm gonna put it in the top of the card. Make sure you pause this video, watch that sucker so you're caught up to speed. And now we're gonna dive right into it, so enjoy Past Wild. And when you see Past Wild, make sure you leave a comment letting him know he needs to pick up his hair game, am I right? Adding blackout curtains to your stream room can have huge impacts for two big reasons. One, it allows you to control the light that much more by blocking out windows that may be blowing you out on your stream so that way you don't really have great exposure to make you that appealing. So that way when you add the additions of studio lights, you're gonna look nice, clean, and crisp and stand out. But for the second fact is it actually absorbs all the ambient sounds and also sounds that could reverb back into your microphone, increasing the richness of your voice. And getting some cheap blackout curtains is very easy, whether you get it at you know discount stores or closeout stores or overstock stores, or even on websites like Amazon. If you don't have the money for like acoustic foam or creating your own sound boards or panels that you wanna hang up in your stream room, hanging up blackout curtains is going to help so much, trust me. A simple addition to your stream area is making sure that you have as much usable space on your desk as possible. And for a lot of people, that means getting things out of the way, which is why I would recommend having like hangers that you can put on the underside of your desk. These are really good for headphones, so that way they don't get knocked off and fall on the ground and could possibly break. For something that rolls in for right around like 10 to 15 bucks, you can just mount these under your desk and you've got now a nice place to put all of your headsets or if you got one, put your one headset there. That way you always know where it is so that way you're good to rock and roll for your games and your streams. On the subject matter of underneath your desk, it's probably super messy under there with all the things you have attached for streaming, whether it be your monitors, extended cables, all of the peripherals that are going through and around your desk and monitors and machines. It's pretty much a cluster back there, which is why I would really recommend getting some cable management. Now there's a bunch that you can mount to the underside of your desk, but even getting certain like Velcro straps or even rubber bands or zip ties makes a huge improvement. And what I'd really recommend is get different colored ones so that way you know what everything is if you're the type of streamer or content creator that creates different types of content or streams. So that way you know what you're unplugging or moving around is easily put back in the correct spot. This next one rolls right on the borderline of the $20 mark. But to be honest, it's normally over the $20 mark unless it's on sale, which is why I want to press that fact to you. But adding graphics to your streams, whether it be full on packages, like overlays or panels or emotes or badges, whatever you want, adding these particular visual appeals is gonna make an impact on your stream. And I highly recommend everyone get some type of visual package to their stream, whether it be alerts, overlays, stinger transitions, you pick what you think is gonna be the best. Now, normally these are way over 20 bucks, but there's sales all the time going on, whether it be Nerd or Die, Own.TV, Visuals by Impulse, I could keep going. There are a ton of awesome websites out there that'll help you get some really good packages to really increase the production value on your stream. Now, if you want something a little more customizable for graphics and everything like that, you can also do Fiverr. Fiverr is really great. I will put a link for Fiverr and Owned down below because using those links will help you save a little bit of extra money to create awesome content for your stream. You're welcome. Okay, I have a super off the wall one that I'm gonna give you, but stick with me on this one. Truly, truly stick with me because this is gonna be a great one. There's been a bunch of studies done about having a clean work environment produces more energy and butter, butter, better production value across the board of what you can produce. And since streaming essentially is a job, you should have a clean work environment. And if you're a gamer or a streamer out there, I'm probably sure that you don't have a clean work environment. I basically don't because I'm working constantly. It's a mess, which is why I would really recommend investing in something like a feather duster, some common Clorox wipes, and also baby wipes. A feather duster is awesome for just cleaning off 
your monitors and your computer towers and your uh, keyboards and mouses and just general desk because dust will collect and it's so easy just to dust it all off and vacuum it later. Same if you have some like grimy stuff, getting Clorox wipes or any type of wipe really helps clean up, you know, more of your hard wear kind of things, whether it be your tower again, or keyboards, or mouse, or desk, anything around that that really needs a good scrub down. Now, if you have more sensitive equipment out there, perhaps something like your headphones, which may have leather or pleather, or even like velvet on them, I would recommend using baby wipes because they're less harsh. So that way you can do it for a nice little cleanup to get everything looking nice and spiffy and that way it'll last longer, which is what I want because I want to get I want you to get the most out of your money. Plus you can always use it to, to, to clean your hands and everything like that. A really good recommendation for me to you on the cleaning supplies is just go to your general dollar store. These are always on sale there, but if not, if you have the big bucks for it, you can always buy these in bulk at places like Costco and Sam's Club, which is basically what I do because it's usually the cheaper option for me. Wow, that was a long list of awesome items that's truly gonna help you guys be bigger and better now I'm really curious what item do you think I missed or what would you add for an upgrade or addition that costs under 20 bucks do me a favor and leave a comment below because I would love to learn from all of you out there make sure you're smart with your money I don't want you wasting your money on frivolous upgrades that's really not gonna help you be a better streamer or attract more into your stream. So I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna put a video over here on the side that shows you not to waste your money on these upgrades. It's a really great video and I highly recommend you check it out right after this. Until next time, all of you beautiful people, I'll see you later. Peace.